This is the plaintiff, Diana. She says she brought her French bulldog, Bruno, to the defendant's house for training. And the guy basically did nothing. Her dog doesn't obey commands. The defendant just took her money without delivering. And she's here in the good name of justice suing him for every penny of the $2,142 she's owed. This is the defendant, Jay. He says he's been training dogs for 17 years. And he works for the cops with the service dogs for kids with special needs. He told the plaintiff he needed to work with Bruno and her, but she only showed up for one session. He doesn't know what this woman's problem is because she's defamed him. She's crippled his good reputation. And if anyone's owed money today, it's not the plaintiff. He's accused of not having a good command of things. The defendant has filed a counter suit for $2,500 for defamation. All parties, please have your right hand. You see the control, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. All right, Diana, you are suing Jay and his canine training company for $2,142. 1142 of it is money you paid him because, according to you, the dog isn't trained at all. And the rest, the other thousands, for emotional distress. You are suing her on a counterclaim for defamation to the tune of $2,500. So now tell me what it is, what is it that you employed him to do, um, his company to, to do? To train my dog to do basic commands, sit, stay, lay down, um, have on-leash and off-leash control. Okay, so specifically, was there a contract that you signed? Yes. Do you have a copy of the contract? Yes, I do. <clears throat> Get ready for real positive change in your dog's behavior. Your dog will learn the necessary basic skills through a total immersion experience while living at the trainer's home with the entire family and other family pets. You'll receive in-depth handler training afterwards to make sure your dog will obey you. Lifetime support is included. Hmm. So no matter how long it takes, you would just continue to work until it's done? Well, <clears throat> I don't expect someone to come to me like, ev like every day for the next four years, but I will always make sure that I'm working with you. And I expect to see you at least two to three times a week after the training, which is why I made it very clear to her that number one, she was doing a one week course, not a two or three or four week course, so. So the dog was supposed to be with you for a week? The dog was with me for a week. Okay. No, that's incorrect, Your Honor. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to you right four, now, hold on. Four days, or sorry, it was five days, four nights, okay? Okay. Why doesn't anything in your contract about how long the immersion is, how many weeks after that, how many times a week you expect people to, like none of that's in here. Well, we made that verbal, so yes, I, I guess I Yes, I know, but I the point of making it written is to not have a confusion about stuff, right? Correct. Like she's angry that it ended up only being four days because you dropped off the dog when? I dropped him off Friday night. And you picked the dog up when? Uh, Tuesday night. <sighs> Okay, so when you went to pick up the dog, how did it go? So I went, I told him to sit down, he sat. I said, lay down, Bruno. He acted like he didn't even know what I was saying. I said, okay, stay, I went to walk away. He acted like he didn't know. I asked Jay, I said, why doesn't he know these commands? And he goes, I don't know why he's not doing it. He's been doing it for me and my girlfriend. So did Jay do it and did the dog obey? No, he just said, I don't why know. Why wouldn't you have Jay do it and why wouldn't you do it and show that when Jay does it, the dog obeyed? Why didn't that happen? Oh no, this was time for the dog to go home. He'd been working all day. She came at nine o'clock at night. It's a five month old puppy. It seems so no. weird to me that I would be paying you to do something and you can't even show me that you did it. If you would like, I did bring an affidavit and a bunch of letters of recommendation of people that are current clients. Um, How long have you been doing this? 17 years, Your Honor, and I am an, a behavior animal specialist, a trainer, um, everything under the sun and police dogs. What police departments buy your dogs? Well, Virginia police departments, so Dinwiddie County, Hanahan in South Carolina, every, a bunch of places in Tennessee. I mean, I'm all over. What about Buffalo? Uh, I don't sell to Buffalo. Plus I really wasn't in Buffalo very much. I usually was in Miami at that point. I, for, I only been up here constantly for about a year. You went from Miami to Buffalo? <laughs> for a girl, for a girl, yeah. <laughs> so, hey, that was some girl. That's all I can say. Believe me, I, it was a horrible mistake, but I'm just kidding. Ah, I, I'm love just kidding. I love her to death. I love Buffalo. Her to death. My husband's from Buffalo. All right, talk to me and tell me. You bring the dog home, and then you guys schedule a, a follow up. And that follow up is 
the Friday right after the Tuesday? Yes. Correct. Okay. So then what happened was I had contacted her on Monday or Tuesday saying, when would you like to train again? And um, that's when she said that she wanted a refund. And I said, I'm not working for free. And I did my exact job that I, you paid me for. You did not complete being with me. And then she tried well, to say. According to you, you did what you're supposed to do. But right. then she didn't want you to keep doing it because she didn't like the job you were doing. But you would have. <laughs> met with her two times a week for months and months and months. You didn't end Correct. up having to do that because she bailed. Correct. I had but that you in feel she bailed and, and she's the one who breached the contract. Correct. Now you talk to me. Let me give you a chance. He told me in the beginning that um, he did not need to use shot collar on my dog, that he didn't use that in training only for like special needs dogs. So he came to my house and then he ended up putting the shock on, which I was very uncomfortable How with. How do you know that he put the shock because on? Because he told me, and I was very uncomfortable with it, but my kids were there, so I didn't want to get into it with him because he was drinking. Um, when I had picked him up, I could smell the alcohol on him. And Your Honor, when I had hired him, I didn't know that I was gonna have to be providing transportation for wait, him. Wait, wait, back it up. What do you mean you smelled the alcohol on him? As soon as he got into my truck, I just got a big whoop Why was of alcohol. he getting into your truck? Because after I had gave him my money, he told me that he wasn't driving because he had an injury to his leg and that his transportation was on vacation. Is that accurate? No, ma'am, listen. I told her right from the get-go and she knew from my friend as well that, that she met me from, that um, I hadn't been driving because of my um, spiral fracture of leg. Do you have a suspended license? <clears throat> Is your license suspended? Yes. What's it for? Oh. Um, I'll find out, so don't lie. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm like the cops. You make me run, it's not going to be good. No, no, no. Speeding. What, is it suspended for DUI? No. I've never had a DUI, never had a felony, never okay. had anything. It, licenses don't normally get suspended for speeding. Why was yours? Six of them. Um, also, Your Honor, first of all, I'm a business, so no matter what... Hey, you're you, a business, so why don't you get your own transportation to your no, clients No, what I'm out? saying is, is I wasn't even supposed to be going to her house yet at that problem. She was having issues with the dog with doing going after food and taking the kids' stuff. So I said, okay, we'll step it up and you can come and get me and we'll do that. As far as anything else goes, her job is to come to me where I'm training because it is my business. It's not, I'm not going, you don't go to McDonald's and ask, or call no, McDonald's. No, but I would love to have that here in writing. <clears throat> You'd be great. So you're saying the only reason you went to her house because you wouldn't normally go to houses? I would, I would, but after, once she gets used to working Alicia, knowing how to work with her dog. <clears throat> Tell me about the shot call. Okay. So I was originally going to just use Vibrate. When you use a shock Why collar, did you change your mind? Because the dog wasn't being affected. So basically dogs have a, a thing called hardness, okay? So some dogs have like a level one hardness and you can't even put a prong collar on them and, or even touch them without them yelping, okay? Then you have dogs like my personal dog that's like a level 10 that you could use a cattle prong on, you wouldn't do that, but he ain't gonna budge and he's just gonna bite harder. So, and he's not gonna yelp, okay? So her dog is probably at a level seven or eight. Okay, so at that point in time, I do have to change the different situation for So it. I got my dog, and let me just explain very clearly to you. Uh, <laughs> my dog was purchased by my husband behind my back on the internet <clears throat> because he got me to say yes, and before I could change my mind, he pressed the button. No. <laughs> okay? And I don't care because I would get rid of every member of my family before I get rid of my dog. Right. No one loves me like this dog, <laughs> all right? I bought not one, but four shock collars. I read all the books and I had a trainer. I would take the collar and I wanted to test how hard the sting was. So I'd put it on my thigh and shock myself. And then I would never put the collar on the dog. <laughs> because if I even came close to the dog to put the collar, the dog would get so sad. And it was so heartbreaking. And everyone around me would start yelling at me. So the only person who ever got shocked with the collar was me. <laughs> but just to let you know, there is a wide body of consensus that if you want to train a dog and it's in the best interest to train the dog, you have to give a negative stimuli. And those shocks, although my husband very cleverly called it the Dr. Mengele collar, okay, <laughs> um, it, they're not cruel. You know, they're part of a training process. You may make a personal choice and say, heck no, I'd rather have a rambunctious dog and I won't do it and that's fine, I respect that. Right. But don't think he's nuts that he used the collar is my point. Yeah. Okay, well, what you did was one day, why did you stop? There's been events that led up to 
me stopping. If I were to go to his house for training, I would not be able to bring my children with me to train because there's guns laying around, there's marijuana, there's alcohol all over. Um, wow. He actually sent me photos of like guns and beer while he was on vacation. Um, he sent me okay, a- Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What? Did you know this before you signed the contract? No, this was all after I signed and I gave him my money and he went to Miami. Okay, did you take the dog to his house? and leave the dog there for four days? Yes, I did. Okay. And yeah, Friday night when I went there, he was intoxicated. Like, and he had a client coming down, and then when we got upstairs, he proceeded to tell me how that client was just performing oral sex on him. What? And it made me feel very awkward. And I'm like, okay, let's- So of course you ran in the opposite direction. So I'm like, okay, trying to switch the subject. Like, okay, so now with Bruno, like, let's get back on track and then- Really? Let's yes. get back on track, you drunk who just told me about your fellatio? Right. Let me give you my prize pup? Right. Well, <laughs> well I so mean- So you left your dog I in mean, that environment with a drunk guy with guns and marijuana and, and you know, sex he, going on to- <laughs> with passing strangers and... He already had my money, and I know that if I would have said to him right there, this isn't gonna work, give me my money, it... He already has my money, isn't I, a reason, I was because you could leave and leave your dog with him on a day that he's not drunk and demand that he not be drunk when I he was takes your dog. trying to give him the benefit of the doubt because... And while he's drunk? Yeah, but while we, he's drunk, right. we're giving him the benefit of the doubt. Right. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have left the dog there. You're right, Your Honor. Your Honor, first were off... Were you drunk? No. And Did when you she, send her pictures of guns and alcohol? No, listen, what happened was I was on a trip in Miami, okay? And <laughs> we had already been talking about guns because her friend, that is my friend, has a huge collection already. And we were also talking about all going to the range. So I had just got a new Glock 40, and I did have a beer and the, it laid out, and I took a Because nice nothing picture. goes together like guns no, and No, 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 but it wasn't, I wasn't using them or holding, it wasn't like that. I just Wait, had you were just trying to be just, cool? It was just a picture of, yeah, it was just a picture. <laughs> so first, second off, when she dropped the dog off, I wasn't drunk, and I definitely didn't have any client coming in or out that was doing anything. So let me ask you a question. You leave the, the dog with the drunk, filleting... <laughs> gun toting gun <-toting laughs> alcoholic, and then you come back four days later, and he's also drunk, yep. according to you and the dog can't do anything, then you meet with him on the Friday. I did not and have anything. And then what? And after that, um, he called me at like 11 p.m. at night. I had texted him the next morning. He said, give me a call. I called him on my break, and um, I guess I paid him to be his counselor because he just went in on telling me everything that's horrible that's going on in his life, and <clears throat> he was just like telling like what? me. what? Uh, personal problems with his girlfriend, how he's just not happy. Um, I, I don't even remember because I was on my lunch break and I was just really trying to just get him off the phone so I can enjoy my lunch. Um, but at that, do you think he was interested in you? Um, I kind of feel that he was the way that he kept coming at me. How did he? Um, what does kept coming at me mean? Like he sent me this thing on Facebook, like about. Um, I don't know if I could say it out loud. It's a, about. It's like a tin roof. Uh, what? You have to nail it. Yeah, I have a photo of that too. Can like, I see the? Can I see what you're talking about? <clears throat> Your Honor, yeah. for the record, um, I have a lot of friends and whatever, and we all send crazy stuff on Facebook. It's not like yeah, a but thing, why are you doing that with her when you're in a professional? And also, I wasn't drunk. I didn't. I don't drink. Well, I I'm, hope you were if you sent a that. No, what I'm saying is, is I wasn't drunk when I was training at her house. When she picked up the dog, she picked it up at 9 p.m. I had had a friend over and the girlfriend over, and we were already doing some fire stick stuff and hanging out and whatever. So I did have a doing couple of drinks what? then. Fire stick, you know? What's the, that? The Amazon thing that gives you all your movies. Oh. Well, anyway, I was trying to learn it, but she came over when, <laughs> she came over when I was already hanging out with people, which is fine, but, you know, <laughs> I mean, if she wants to attack my credibility, you should I mean, hear the things she's told. You should hear the things that she told it's, me. It's just unprofessional. Okay. Are, you, are you a business or what? Because this okay. is very unprofessional. Sometimes, okay, don't talk to each other. Go yeah. ahead. Your Honor, I think what is unprofessional is that before I even started ever saying anything about my girlfriend or if I had a problem, was that she was already telling me her history of abusive men, all this other stuff, the problems with her kids and everything else and all of her post-traumatic stress in every issue that she ever had, okay? Including being drunk while she was giving birth to her kids. So, I mean, like, seriously? But I didn't want to even bring that up. Oh, I was you didn't? Gonna be, I was going to be better than that. Were you? Well, I tried. But then you weren't. But then she did this. 
There's never a conversation, it's just puns and memes. <clears throat> Blank is like a tin roof. If you don't nail it enough, it ends up over at the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that could have actually even been a mistake. My wife to told to me to sweep the house. Oh, you think? It could have been. My wife I told me to sweep the house. I don't know why she's angry. We're clear, and it's got a guy with a rifle doing a gun sweep. Yeah, that actually yeah, if is you, kind of funny. If you, the photo, Your Honor, of the guns and the beer should be in that thread, too. Um, up a I don't see further. why that matters. I was in Miami. <clears throat> I was on vacation. I was relaxing. And therefore, and what? That's what we're known for: guns and beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Um, most of the, I mean, he sends you stuff like a lot. Right. And most of the stuff you send like a laughing emoji at. Right. Because I'm just not going to entertain it. Okay. Laugh. Bye. Just ignore it. Open. Yeah. No. Sending a laughing emoji isn't ignoring it or asking. It's. It's also not saying, "Hey, let's keep this professional." It's not stopping it. I don't know Red if maybe, June. you know, there was some, you know, these lines are crossed because you have this mutual friend in common. I think so. And honestly, when you pull up a Mimi and you start hitting send to all your top friends or the people that you're talking to. She's not your recently? top friend. Listen to me. I don't care if she was your friend before, which she wasn't. You just met her. But if she, even if she was your friend before, when you're having a business relationship, have a business relationship. Don't confuse the two. That's not I have lawyers who were friends of mine. When I was a judge in Miami, I don't care how close we were. If we had a case in front of each other, it got disclosed to all sides, and then I didn't see that person. We were done because now there's a professional relationship going on. What I meant was in your Facebook, it automatically... Okay. Don't defend sending something that has the P word, okay? Because that's not what you should be doing with all of your top clients. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So, are shot callers to train dogs cruel? What do you think? I believe they are. I think there's other ways to. What's um, cruel about it? It hurts them. How would you like to get shocked? Huh? How would you like to get shocked in well, the neck? Don't ask what I'm into. In the <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, no, no. I mean. I think absolutely not. I mean, it's a way to tra train the dog. And low dosage, it's not hurting the dog. See, that's the question. If it's low, do well, I'll go back to you. Low dose. No, I don't believe in that. You can train a dog another way. I actually agree with you. Going inside the courtroom. By the way, you're, you have a counterclaim against her for $2,500 for what? Well, uh, for uh, talking to my friend, that's her friend also, um, and everyone else saying that I did not do my job and that I am not good at what I do, and creating business friction for me and my clients and making money. I'm only word of mouth. I am nothing. How are you going to prove that you lost business? I mean, That's her opinion. Her opinion is you're not good at it. Her darn dog isn't doing the stuff it needs to do. Correct. You know, so that's her feeling, that you're not good at what you do. Right. And but I also made sure that the potty training was correct, the crate training. How'd the potty training the, go? And the um, you can look at my phone right now. The lady that's watching my dog just sent me photos of the dog pooping and peeing all over the floor. And she's like, I don't want to deal with this. My question is, is why is the dog out if it's not, <clears throat> if, if did the lady let the dog out? Yep. Well, she did. did she make sure that the dog peed and pooed? Yep. Because you have yeah. to have, because you should See, have a visual. this is complicated. It's complicated. <clears throat> Where did she post something on Facebook against you? I don't know. No, I well, then, you, then the answer is no. You have no evidence that she did. Did she put a negative review even? I don't know that. Okay, either. so then how, why would you figure she'd have to pay you $2,500? If everybody who had something negative to say about me had to pay me $2,500, I'd be out of this gin <laughs> joint and I would just be, well, you know, collecting money. Well, I put $2,500 <laughs> because I put $2,500 because you can't go higher once you put it down. Okay, but at the same time, now I now Okay, I lost on your counterclaim zero. Okay, now let's talk about your claim because okay. you have to understand something. This is a complicated process. And you are an impatient person. You know, when you say, well, it wasn't working, you're impatient. And when you say, well, he made me feel unsafe, <clears throat> I did not feel comfortable, you're also guilty of it, because I've seen that. That's why I wanted to see your text. Yeah. Oh, you know, you're both crossing a line because you have this mutual friend. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and my friend did write a statement, um, and it's notarized. I didn't Let speak. me see your statement from your friend. I didn't speak to her about it. She actually was at my home when I brought Bruno home from his house, and his bed was like filled with urine. At the time, Diana was using crate training successfully. The dog proceeded to chew on objects. He also used the bathroom on the floor in front of us. This is a new behavior. What struck us both is odd. The dog smelled as if it had been sitting in urine and feces the entire week. How does one smell a dog and decide it's been the entire <laughs> week? I mean, this person obviously has no love for him and it, love for you because they're willing to stretch into something that's kind of smells like, wait, hold on. 
four, no, wait, wait, <laughs> five days, you know, your, I mean, your you honor. can't do that. Okay. Your Honor, yep. I've been doing this for 17 years with over $100,000 in as a trainer. Yeah. I mean, this is absolutely crazy to me because if she would have kept it up and actually gone and continued the course, her dog would be perfect. I don't know whether her dog would be perfect. I, I, I can understand her complaint that, A, she's not comfortable with someone who sends her, you know, lewd and lascivious texts. I can understand that. I can understand that, like, you may want to be friendly with someone, but not quite that friendly. You don't want to cross every line. I can understand her frustration when all of a sudden she has to pick you up and everything else. I also understand your frustration because you expect this to be a side-by-side -side work in progress, and it wasn't. When I got obedience training for, for Sammy, the contract was very specific. It said it would be you know, X amount of time in my house with us, and we all had to be there. Yours is this very open-ended thing. She shouldn't have to pick you up. She shouldn't be getting phone calls from you at 11 o'clock. You shouldn't be telling her about your intimate problems. And the dog should be better trained by then. After five, a whole week in your house and one session, the dog should listen to more than sit. Your Honor, the dog was doing an excellent heel and listening the dog and didn't, recall. We don't know that. You know why? Did you video the dog listening to all your commands? No. Do you have a telephone? <clears throat> yes. Does your telephone video? Yes. OK. So I don't know what you did with that dog for five <laughs> days or four nights. I don't know. I know it's not what her affidavit says, because you can't smell a dog and find <laughs> out what happened. I don't know what you did. My trainer showed me what he trained my dog to do right there and in front of me. I just wanted to be able to replicate it when the trainer wasn't there, you know? But that's on me, it's not on the trainer. And I get that. You know, she has to put her part too. The thing is, is the time that she came to get the dog. Yeah, we're done. I don't wanna hear anymore. No. I'm gonna return half the money, that's my verdict. I'm ordering him to return to you $571, and you can use that towards further training. And let me tell you that you need to be present and very involved and very careful. Okay? Thank and you. as for your counterclaim against her, zero. That's my verdict. Well, things did not work out too well for the defendant. Jay, how are you feeling about what just happened here? <clears throat> well, I guess frustrated. Yeah. But that's the best I'm going to say. Embarrassed? No. I said um, it's just frustrating. There's nothing really else to say. I've been doing this for a very long time, and... I have amazing ability. I've been, like I said, I've never had a problem like this, so. So what happened here? I mean, it sounds like you crossed the line with her. Uh, a little bit. She. Plus, but. the dog apparently isn't doing what he was supposed to be doing either, so. The dog was doing a lot of the things that it was supposed to be doing when it got back to her house. Mm -hmm. Then it started becoming unstructuralized. If you don't have structure, the dog is gonna break. Okay, well, sorry, it didn't work out too well for you. <clears throat> Diana, it didn't work too well for you either, you know? I mean, come on, you didn't do your part. I did do my part, I feel. I mean, maybe I should have trained a little more with him, but no. No, kidding. <laughs> no not under those circumstances, absolutely not, so. Okay. Yeah. Good luck All with right. your pup, Thank okay? You. Thank you very much. Okay. Harvey? You know, real simple, Doug. Um, when you do a contract like this, write down, it's so easy. What is the dog supposed to learn? To sit, to come to you, whatever it is, write it down and then there's not gonna be a misunderstanding. 